Taylor's, South Carolina. If you've done any research about Greenville, you've definitely heard about Taylor's and you've probably only heard the good things, but have you heard the bad? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons to living in Taylor's, South Carolina. Let's get into it. As always, my name is Will Sawyer. I'm a local realtor here in the Greenville, South Carolina slash upstate area. And if you're thinking about relocating to the area or if you're just interested in learning more information about the area, I hope that this channel is as entertaining as it is informative and that we are your number one resource for all things that you need to know about living in Greenville. And if you found this information helpful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment in the comment section. We would love to interact with you in the comments. And finally, if you're actually thinking about relocating to Greenville or the surrounding cities, I would love to be the realtor that you choose to work with. Let's get to it. First things first, where are we at? Well, we are at Taylor's Mill, which used to be the Southern Bleachery and Print Works. So this was commissioned in the early 20th century, and for decades it was the heart of Taylor's. It employed over a thousand people here. There's a mill village right behind us. And now, today, it's a multi-use entertainment space. So behind me is the Fair House, which is a fantastic restaurant. In front of me is the Blue Ox. And then beside me is the coveted 13 Stripes Brewery. There's also a entertainment venue for weddings, etc. There's also a CrossFit gym right around the corner. So a lot of people will come here in the evenings and on the weekends, bring their families, go on dates, and this is where they end up if they're living near Taylor's. So a great thing about Taylor's is where it is. So let's get our bearings, right? So if Greenville's here, Taylor's is sitting right here. So it's five to 15 minutes away from the heart of downtown Greenville. It's super close. It's just a quick drive up Wade Hampton Boulevard, which is the road that takes you from Greenville to Spartanburg. Um, it sits right in between Greenville and Spartanburg, right before you get to Greer. Um, so location-wise, it's super convenient to downtown, and Taylor's has everything that you need. You know, another pro for Taylor's would be an abundance of restaurants, um, abundance of stores, and there's a ton of real estate here. A lot of people call Taylor's home, and they have for many, many years. I think the average price point here in Taylor's is about $340,000. So relative to the rest of the market here in the Greenville area, Taylor's is pretty affordable, especially considering all of the amenities that Taylor's offers. One, we're close to downtown. Two, we're close to Lake Robinson, which you can take your family out there and enjoy the beautiful scenery around Lake Robinson on the weekends or in the evenings. We're close to Paris Mountain. We're close to Traveler's Rest. Um, and we're really not too far from the mountains if you wanted to go spend um, the afternoon or weekend in the mountains. Another big pro for living in the Taylors area is the schools. Don't take it from me, do your own research, but the number one rated public high school in Greenville is Wade Hampton High School, which is five minutes away. Um, and that's probably where your kids would go if you bought a home in this area. So there's good and bad to everything and everyone and every place, right? Well, Taylor's is the same way. So it's not only good things, there are some cons. First con, in my opinion, would be there's really no town. Uh, there's no main street in Taylor's. It's, it's unincorporated. It's really just an area. Um, so unlike, say, Greenville, of course, and parts of uh, the county like Greer, right, where there is a bustling downtown and a main street, you really just don't get that in Taylor's. So another big thing that I think uh, would be something to consider and probably a con for Taylor's would be while Wade Hampton Boulevard, which really encompasses all of Taylor's or spans all of Taylor's, um, has a lot of stuff, it doesn't have a lot of local restaurants with that deep local flavor that you really want in the town that you live in. Um, you're gonna have every chain restaurant imaginable, right? But you really just don't get that deep local flavor um, that I think you would want. 
Um, the third con for me uh, would be Wade Hampton Boulevard in some respects. Um, it's probably one of my least favorite roads to ride on in the area just because there's a ton of stoplights, right? So you could be five minutes to Greenville, but you also could be 25 minutes to Greenville depending on where you live in Taylor's, if not farther. So uh, there's always a lot of traffic. It's always very busy with a lot of stoplights that are always seeming to turn red. So definitely something to consider um, if you're gonna be moving to Taylor's. I think the last con to mention for Taylor's would be its distance away from 385 and 85, which are the two major interstates here in the area. So Interstate 85 connects Charlotte to Atlanta, right? So a lot of people, 220,000 cars, um, pass through Greenville every day on that road. Um, and that's a well-traveled highway system that you may need to get on at certain points um, while you're living here or every day if you're gonna be commuting via 85. So that's something to definitely know um, if you choose to live in Taylor's and you have to get on 85. And it's also a solid 15, 20 minutes to get on the 385 if you're needing to go into Greenville or if you're needing to go to Simpsonville, Fountain Inn, Clinton, Columbia. While we're pretty far away from the interstates, uh, it is uh, good to mention that we are very close to GSP, which is the Greenville Spartanburg International Airport. So if you need to jump on a flight, if you live in Taylor's, you're not gonna be far at all. All in all, a lot of people call Taylor's home and for good reason. There's a lot of conveniences like proximity to downtown Greenville, proximity to GSP. There's a lot of shopping. There's a lot of uh, restaurants a long way at Hampton Boulevard. There's really everything that you need on a weekly basis here in Taylor's. So there's certainly a lot of good things about Taylor's, but you also have to consider the cons, right? Um, so if you think Taylor's is a place that you would want to live, please reach out to me at this number or this email. And I would be happy to chat with you more about Greenville County, the upstate of South Carolina and Taylor's. And remember, if you're thinking about relocating to the area, I would love to be the realtor that you choose to work with. Thanks so much, y'all.